All right, so what's going on legends? Welcome back. I made it to the first property that I have on the route today. And I'm gonna say this, when I first started this whole business, I started it with the model of a self-propelled push mower. Now, I know what you're thinking. In the summertime, the route density, the amount of lawns that you have, the properties that you have to service, it's gonna take a lot longer, especially when it's just you. You're the solo person that's here and you're the solo person that's doing pretty much all of the work. But if you're seriously, wanting to leave that nine to five if you're seriously wanting to do something on your terms you're the boss you choose when you take vacation this message right here this video is for you now i'm not just trying to sell my ebook i want to take that away but if someone is out there because when i got started i started joining all these different groups discords and what i noticed when i started off that these electric lawn care people not all of them but some of them are clicky right so I would ask information and there was this one guy that was super, super helpful. Then there was like another guy that just wasn't very, uh, I'm gonna just use the word customer friendly, right? So I'm trying to get advice, I'm trying to grow my business. So I had to learn on my own what tools to buy pre-owned, what tools not to buy pre-owned. And it hurt me in the long run because I bought a six by 12 trailer that by, yes, you got space to carry rock and other materials, but that just wasn't the right thing for my business, right? I bought a 60 inch deck knowing that I couldn't get through a fence like that right there, right? Like it's all these errors that were learned on the process of being where I am now and where I decide I want my business to go. But I'm gonna flip this camera around, show you all the tools that I brought to this property that pays 120 a month. I'm gonna go ahead and share the numbers with you guys. I wanna be transparent. So people say, man, someone's paying 120 a month. So two cuts per the month. Um, and I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what the grass looks like. Um, obviously it's colder in Jacksonville. So the grass in some areas is a little bit, uh, you know, lighter than others, but I just wanna share it with you guys. Cause the moment that you see that all the things that I have and even someone in the comment section wrote, hey, I used to have ego stuff, but the battery wouldn't last me. I'm gonna show you the benefits of getting a Z6. If the Z6 ever goes down or you don't feel like taking the Z6 out, if you're trying to lose some weight, whatever it is, right? Like having these extra batteries is super crucial because even though I just service this lawn, I still have all my batteries in my truck uh, bed here. And then I have the two tan amp batteries that I brought for my Z6. I brought them with me. That's powering my push mower powering my blower which is right here on the floor but i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you all of the items that i brought to service this lawn and how you could do the same thing finding a push mower on facebook marketplace which i talk about in my ebook um and how i got started um i just recently upgraded to this uh select cut this year um i got that push mower at the beginning of last season and it lasted me all throughout the season so let me flip the camera around and show you what all i'm right, talking about so the tools today right um the push uh the push blower the blower with a tan app battery for my z6 in the back i just brought um my wife actually gave me these buckets for debris i could pick up and put them in here um pine cones things like that but my self uh trimmer the select mower another 10 10 amp battery right so it shows i still have two percent or not two percent but two bars there on the fuel gauge bar um and that's it right and then in here in the bed in the toolbox there's four batteries there's a 7.5 there's a 2.5 a 2.5 and another 2.5 down there below now i'm going to show you the lawn that i take care of for this customer again it's 120 and if you're ever curious on how to price that's going to be totally different in every market i have some areas in jacksonville where they won't they won't pay more than 50 then i have some areas in jacksonville where I have nice grass like this that you can maintain year round make sure you're saying that in your contract that you will service their lawns year round let me flip this camera around. and this is a every two week client that just wants their grass cut nice and that was done with that push mower that's in the back of my truck bed now, why am I sharing this information with you guys? It's knowing what kind of tools you need to get the job done. I think personally, no matter where you are in Florida, let me put it that way, um, and even in some other areas, if you start with a push mower, self-propelled by the way, electric, remember the more self-propelling you do, the less runtime you get. That's just a standard here. But in my mind and on my watch, I know I have 45 minutes to an hour on certain cases on how much battery I could use while I'm out here servicing lawns just like this. Now, mind you, I did 
this front yard and their backyard with one battery. Then I put another battery on my blower and let's see what that gauge says. I've already blown this property and it's already showing that I have a full battery essentially here and I've blown off their whole driveway, all of that there, and any debris that was on the so, side of the road. My recommendation for anyone that's just starting out and wants to start their fully electric lawn care business, self-propelled mower, a fast charger, a blower, it doesn't have to be the backpack one, it could be a six, you know, 15, any of that stuff, it could be any of that. A string trimmer, and that's it. You can start a fully electric lawn care business with these tools that I just showed you in the back of my truck and knock out between with the battery specs that you would need right maybe three to four yards a day and you take a charge break or if you find a solution which i think the solution for us in my case with not having solar panels in the enclosed trailer would be an eco flow that charges those small batteries on those quick chargers to keep you going being efficient and be able to service more yards just like this one here now guys, if you enjoyed this video and you found it informative, hit that like button, comment down below what you think. I'm open to feedback and suggestions and let's take your lawn care business to the next level in 2024. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.